In keeping with the theme of end of life, which we covered last week for Joomla, well, this week it's Drupal. Drupal 7's end of life has been announced at January the 5th, 2025, and there's a new website you need to see. My name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And if you have a Drupal 7 site, well, there's some reprieve, but this is the final, final straw. <laughs> Drupal released a new page this week at Drupal.org called Drupal 7 End of Life. And it's a page you probably need to pay attention to if you're still on Drupal 7. Yes, it's been extended to 2025, but no, it won't be extended again. This is your final warning. Now let's dive in. Well, here it is. The link is on the screen. Drupal 7 official end of life has been extended to January 5th, 2025. This is the final extension. There won't be another. And believe it or not, it's been 14 years. So I started training in Drupal right around Drupal 7's release. Steve Burge, from the original owner of OS Training, invited me to come on staff. And the very first training I did was a Drupal 7 training, somewhere around March of 2011. That's how long it's been. Well, this is your final warning. And if you take a look at this page, you'll see that it's now time to plan your migration. Well, there's lots of helpful information here, but the primary purpose of this page is to provide migration partners. Yes, there are DIY migration resources. We'll look at that in just a moment. And when you click on the link, it drops down to the bottom of the page that lists both enterprise grade migration partners like Lullabot, Fork, Kitchens, Vardot, and more, as well as mid-scale migration partners, Spec B, again, Vardot, Canopy, Palantir, et cetera, et cetera. Now, of course, there are other companies that do this. These are the ones that are actually, quote unquote, certified by the Drupal Association to provide support here for you. Whether you need the help of a migration company or their DIY migration steps on your own, there's an entire guide here as well. If I click on the guide, it's gonna take me over to all of the kind of information I need to know about migrating my own site. If I click on this resources for your DIY migration, it's gonna bring me to a page called DIY resources. And again, that same timeline here at the top but you've got the 31 Days of Migrations course, Retrofit for Drupal course by Matt Glayman, and the Site Audit Tools, the Upgrade Status and Site Audit Modules, two must-have modules if you're going to do this yourself. There are courses at drupalize.me, the podcast, there's some articles and helpful things, as well as a video here from DrupalCon Pittsburgh on how to use the Migrate API for moving to Drupal 10. Yes, the obvious move is to go from 7 to 10 as fast as possible. I've been teaching Drupal 10 pretty much since it came out. I can't tell you how much better 10 is than 7. So if you're still on a Drupal 7 site, well, here's a couple of resources you really need to know about. So migrations are nobody's favorite thing, that's for sure. Migrating, whether it's WordPress, Joomla, or Drupal, isn't fun. This should be the last major migration for Drupal, although really, who's to know? Joomla is saying the same thing with Joomla 3 to 4 as a mini migration. Either way, it's a hassle, no matter which CMS you use, but it is something you must do in order to stay current. I can't believe it's been 14 years since Drupal 7 launched. If you're still on Drupal 7, well, this pretty much is, as I said, your final warning. Well, it seems we're talking about migrations a lot lately, so this is the latest. Drupal 7, let's get going, get to Drupal 10, get all that Drupal 10 goodness. You won't be sorry you did. Thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We'll see you next time.